Williams has decided to sell its Formula One team. Hello, my name is Alex Does F1 Stuff and welcome back to another F1 video. I've got a bit of news for you today, actually something to fill the gap uh, between the two weekends for the Spanish and the Belgian Grand Prix. I had a two week gap that I wasn't sure what I was going to fill it with and we had some breaking news. Williams have sold their Formula One team, it's all gone. But there are some little bits that are staying the same. We will get on into this article in a bit. And when I say in a bit, I do mean right now. Why exactly have Williams sold their team? Williams Grand Prix engineering have come a very long way since Sir Frank Williams and Patrick Head stood in an empty old carpet factory, mapping out their plans for a brand new Formula One racing team. Since then, they've won nine Constructors' Championships, seven drivers' titles, amassing 114 victories along the way. But in recent years, amid financially challenging times, they've found life in Formula One tough and have slipped down the pecking order, hitting the very bottom of the pile in the last few seasons. Sir Frank and his daughter, Deputy Team Principal Claire Williams, wanted to keep the team in the family, but they also realised they could not compete financially with their rivals. So in a bid to secure the long-term future of the team and their loyal staff, they have sold up. We kind of knew it was coming. We kind of knew it was coming. They tabled it a oh, little while ago, a couple of months ago, that they were thinking of selling, um, but they weren't sure how much, whether it was going to be a minority or majority stake, but it appears they have sold everything. And the question is now, who owns Williams? Over the past three months, Williams have met with a selection of potential investors as part of a formal sale process and subsequently reviewed submissions of interest. They've opted to move forward with the American private investment firm Dor Dorilton Capital, whose portfolio includes companies in the industrial services, healthcare services, and specialty manufacturing sectors. This is a complete buyout. The sale is for Williams Grand Prix Engineering Limited, which consists of the F1 business, including their impressive heritage car collection and high-end headquarters at Grove, and their minority stake in Williams Advanced Engineering and all other trading assets and liabilities. So we're getting another American-backed team, if you want to call it that. We've obviously got Haas owned by Americans and backed by Americans, and now we have Williams, who is going to be owned by Dorelton Capital, a American private investment firm. And according to documents released to the stock market, the enterprise value of the company is 152 million, and the net cash pr proceeds that have been received by the company for the shares of WGPE after repayment of all third party indebtedness and transaction expenses are 112 million. So Frank, who holds 52% of the shares, has given his irrevocable support or irrevocable support to the transaction, with the Williams family set to no longer have a share holding. So the Williams family will no longer be a part of Team Williams, which begs the question, will the Williams name stay? And yes, the iconic Williams name will remain in Formula One, whilst the chassis designation of FW for Frank Williams will also stay. It is believed the new investors are committed to retaining the culture of the team and see the value of maintaining the brand from which Sir Frank and his colleagues have spent more than 40 years building. Which is a nice touch to keep the Williams name going. It would be a massive shame for the sport to lose that history and heritage, but I believe there's a little bit more to it, as the Concord Agreement was just signed and people still get their historical bonuses. Ferrari obviously still get their huge historical bonus. Williams also gets their historical bonus. If they were to have changed their name and I would imagine their chassis number as well, they would have lost that historical bonus. So I suppose there are kind of two sides to keeping the Williams name. Well, I suppose two really good sides of keeping the Williams name is you keep the name and all this prestige that comes with it, and then you also keep that historical bonus that comes with the Williams name, which I doubt Dorilton really care too much about if they change. I don't think they would have wanted to change it, otherwise they would have. 
and they'd have sacrificed the fact that they've lost their historical bonus. But ultimately, I don't think we're ever going to hear that be said from anybody. But I do believe that is one positive that they've taken away from it. So with the Williams family no longer being part of the Williams team, who will run them? Who will run Williams? So Darrelton used the term partnership when discussing their acquisitions, saying they work actively with existing management teams, recognizing that long-term business success is the result of a team effort. They also like continuity, adding, we partner with companies that are led by strong management teams and have a successful history and culture. We firmly believe in our companies continuing with the elements that have made them successful. These are still very early days with a lot to be worked out, but with the statements above suggest that in the short term, very little is set to change uh, at the team currently run by Claire. Long term, though, it remains unclear. So for the short time, yes, at least for the rest of this year, maybe the rest of 2021, Claire Williams will still be running the team as the team principal, but... When it comes to 2022, when the rules change once again, is she still going to be there? Not 100% sure, and again, I don't think anyone knows just yet. So, to conclude, it is definitely a good thing that Williams have finally decided to sell. Ultimately, though, uh, it's, hard, it's, hard, it's hard to say. Um, yes, they, it's good because they're going to get some more financial benefit from the American backing Derilton uh, firm. But then we are losing the family, we are losing the Williams family, but we're just not losing the Williams team. The Williams team is staying, they're staying at Grove, there's no interest to leave. Uh, they're going to still keep the same name, same sponsors, same drivers, same mechanics, etc. We're just losing that Williams family. But uh, yeah, it, it, it's a mi it, I suppose it is a mixed bag and it's probably going to be a mixed bag for many people. Definitely the people that have been watching the sport for many decades, they may just see it as a bad thing, that they may see it as, as, as Williams are completely gone now, that you've lost Frank and you're going to be losing Claire possibly in the next few years. But then perhaps maybe people that are slightly more younger like myself see it as, as a good thing, that you may no longer see Williams struggling at the back like they have for the past three years. But that is all I've got for you today guys, I hope you have enjoyed that short little video about the Williams sale, and I will catch you in the next one with whatever and whenever I decide to make it. I'll see you guys then.